Good day and welcome to Caribbean Connect. I am Kimberly Ram Kalawan. And if you're hearing the crickets singing, it's because we are a representation of the Amazon rainforest, part of Suriname. And with me tonight, today, is Zulili Blinka. She is one of the best poets Suriname has to offer. And you would have heard her at the, the Fortitude regular meeting of Caracom Head's opening ceremony on Sunday night. Her performance was so powerful and captivating. Uh, it really captivated what it means to be a Caribbean person, a Caribbean individual, we living in this region. It was so captivating, I got goosebumps. And I am sure all our leaders and everyone that really are fond and, and really take pride in being part of this Caribbean community would have felt that through her performance. So welcome. Thank you. What an honor. I know I would have overspoken <laughs> because it's, it's, I'm so excited. I mean, <sighs> the performance was so breathtaking, so captivating. Yeah. You really got the essence mm -hmm. of all of us, not just, the not just the individual Caribbean states, but you got the essence of what it means to be part of this wonderful region. We are a unique people indeed, and yes. surely share that in your yes. performance. Thank you, thank you. And, and, and um, when I heard it, I, I'm, I'm a fan of Barbados Prime Minister Mia Moore Motley. Mm -hmm. You hear her on the stage, and she her speeches give you goosebumps, and your your performance reminded me of that. Wow! So much that uh, she too was moved by your performance. Yeah, and but she's one of my biggest inspirations, so it's wow. an honor to hear this. And she she was one of the leaders that approached you following your performance. Yes, yes, she did. What were your thoughts with this kind of response from Caribbean heads? Whew. Well, the first thing I was like. Um, the intention which I went there with, that was, it was received. And it's always good to, you know, when you get, when you get an assignment, and when you finish with an assignment, everybody happy, yeah. you know? So it felt good. I felt um, a, a, a beaming light coming from the people as well, you know? Because when you perform, it's not only you, you need the good energy. And I felt the good energy being transcended. So then I just run with it. How did you get the idea to share such a message with the leaders? I mean, is it a particular timing to share such, uh, this kind of uh, message with CARICOM leaders? Uh, it speaks of the Caribbean Seas. Uh, what, was, what was the inspiration behind this? Well, <laughs> the first inspiration came from a poet, a Surinamese poet called Celestina Ralta. She wrote the first piece that you heard Anomiwa one day, that says, I'm not alone, I am surrounded by great ancestry. And um, I looked at the piece and I, I, I kind of erased myself out of the quotation. It was not about me, but everything that is in us. And I lived on St. Martin. I was raised in uh, Suriname and I lived in Europe. So I have the triangle thing. And I was thinking, if we come together, the thing what is now is, and that, I got that from Miss from Martley as well. We talk in a lot, but we need to walk the talk. So that was the red line for me. And just to be honest and to look at what is really happening, and I went into our ancestry as well. Uh, there's a line in it from um, Miss Lou, is a poet from Jamaica. And it was around this time too when things was like really hard, and it called Dutty Tough. So the sun, sun has shine, but things not bright. So I worked with that. I went to a Haitian proverb as well, because for me, Haiti is seen as an underdog, but Haiti is one of the strongest and the best reflections of being Caribbean. Indeed. So I took Haiti. And of course, when we look at the Caribbean, everybody knows Bob, and he's one of my biggest inspirations. You know, and I took Bob. And yeah, I just, I just, I just looked at, at, at the, the scenery and it, I played with words, but it was not really playing with words. It's really getting the message across, which is we have to do this together because we've been knocking for 49 years already. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Wow. We have been. And um, I understand that you're a radio presenter here. Yes. Well, I just I, I began my career as radio in, uh, in um, Holland. And I started here since um, January with a podcast called What We Do is What We Do. And it's about our motivation 
and breaking taboos because we have opinions. It's just like uh, islands, you know? Yeah, but I'm from Suriname. Yeah, but I'm from Grenada. Yeah, but we do things here. We like to judge people, but we don't look at the why. So the radio program is about the why. Like, why do people do what they do? Because if you know the story, you get the empathy, and um, then you move along, you know? And it's not about just shining your light, but if we all shine our light together, the light is bright. I mean, that's a wonderful concept. Uh, do you think that is something that should be definitely embraced by the region? Uh, do you see this uh, furthering this concept with uh, the wider region? So you see, working towards integration. I believe as we speak now, the cosmos is listening. So the cosmos need to answer this because I think this is something that's worldwide. And if we're gonna look at um, what people really do. It's like politicians, they like to complain about what ain't good, but they don't talk about what they're gonna do. And I'm getting tired. Refers flooding, prices going up, mindsets in a rush. We need to take action. And I think as an artist, you can't stay quiet in these times because you're the sign of the times. So that's how I see myself, as everything that I do. Yeah, you're considered a visionary here in Suriname. Really? And I mean, l listening to you alone, <laughs> okay. and, and uh, that platform alone yeah. is, is says something. You, you, you've captivated an audience right there and there. Yes. And um, what, how do you see the importance of the arts being part of the social change that is needed in, in our countries, in our individual communities? You really want me to answer that? Yes. <laughs> well, we need to be, we need to, take art as business. Me as an artist, what I experience is um, a lack of, 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 of recognition, a lack of worth. You know, when you come with a price, they're always like, yeah, but you're too expensive. And then when you look at the lighting man, that's first of all, I'm into talent development. In Suriname, I am busy with the youth into talent development. But talent development is not the only thing because we have a lot of education that is towards art. But then when we finish, we need to get profiled. We need to get uh, ready to be entrepreneurs in that. When we look at the funds that we get from abroad, it's just like the banks. There are so many little glitches and bureaucracies that, that don't allow us to move as an art movement. And I think if we would unite as a people in the Caribbean and we would be one voice as in art, they cannot shun away. So there's the strength. And I believe that that is possible. And I believe that all of us make beautiful things, but in the end, it's about being heard. Yes. Yes. You're quiet. <laughs> no, I'm just absorbing everything. Yeah. So, I mean, social change, uh, it's, it's taking a, a new platform mm -hmm. and through the arts. Yes. And um, you're inspiring. What would you say to those uh, coming up, or generations coming up, uh, that they, they are skeptical, as you say, they support, you know, mm -hmm. it's art. Mm -hmm. I mean, adding value to it. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the upcoming generation who want to share and embrace this? I would say uh, step away from ego. Uh, don't concentrate on the small pool of money there is. I think if you concentrate for some money, it's not gonna go good. I think when you have a team and the core thing is passion. You could see it in the product as well. You have a lot of young people that want a lot of money fast, you know? And when you look at the skills, they don't, they don't skill themselves. They don't, they, don't, they don't work on the art themselves. I see art as Olympic games. And there's, don't compare yourself because there's nobody that can be compared to you. Just do what you do and find people that have the same mindset. You know, and you feel it. When you don't feel it, don't work together. I don't believe in working together too. Like in Suriname, we have this say, we na wang, but I don't believe in that all the time. I believe if your backyard good, then you could be a big backyard. But if your backyard stinks, the whole backyard gonna be stinks. I'd like to ask you one question. This, yes. is, this is something close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have such a rich, diverse culture as individual states and as a Caribbean collectively. Uh, how do we teach and train the, this generation to appreciate what we have and to really 
own it as ours rather than, you know, gravitating to what's out there? Well, the question, the answer is simple. Look at the leaders. It's leading by example. I mean, you don't tell children what to do. They look at you and then they do what you do. So let's start first. That's why I say the backyard. We have a lot of leaders talking a lot, but when we look at what they're doing, yeah, we get a headache. But then for the art, I say, take that in your art and, and resonate. That's the wonderful thing about art, you know? So I think it's leading by example. Everything that you do, and success is not having the big Range Rover and the big house. Success is every time when you do something, it's better, you know? And, and thinking, especially in, in self, self-sufficiency, but self-sufficiency comes with the community-mindedness. You know, if we need to resound, we're a paradise. You know, Europe and, and the States used us as a playground for centuries. What does that say? That means we are paradise. So what we have in front of us, we still need to have that blind off. And the problem most of the time is this. Yeah, no. I'll leave it there. I mean, I think there's beauty in my research and my coming to experience the Caribbean. There is beauty in, I mean, we take, uh, there, there's the bad and we take what's good. Mm -hmm. And it has forged us to be a people. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, and you captivate something like that in your message. Yeah, I you know, try to. And, we yeah. have been forged, uh, forged by the, the and, and bound by, by these love. I mean, the Trinidad aunt um, speaks to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, um, we want to thank you for being here with us. Thank you. And I Friend. want you to take us out. Um, can you perform a little bit of that masterpiece that you gave our CARICOM leaders at the opening ceremony? Okay. All right. I know we were one day. I know we were one day. When we alone to we, I know we were one day. But when that great ancestry surrounds us is key. Because it's not I alone, you see. It is the I in you, in us, we a nation, a people, a beat, a feel, we. Bloodlines and storylines intertwined in us. With a, with a strength of culture echoing in that one of a kind collective memory that makes we. A staccato symphony reminding us that we are more than reggae, caseco, soca, and chutney. Being Caribbean is being. A people of diverse and beaming light. With in culture strength making us paradise. If only we would realize. A nation, a people, a beat, a feel, we. Now here, and we know this place, even in these serious times, where sun are bright, <laughs> where sun bright, but, 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 but things are right. River flood, prices up, and mindsets, mindsets in a rush. <laughs> Know that we are surrounded by ancestry. A Haitian proverb says, the nights are long, but our dreams last longer. Reminding us not to dwell on dark pages. Don't dwell on dark pages. But to dance, to, to dance, to, to dance to the rhythm, the rhythm of self-made future. Creating our ability to shine our own light. So let's not, so let's not, so let's not, so let's not falter 
in the fallenness of ego. Let us reach for our indigo skies and find strength in the thickness of our roots that makes we yes, 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 we. We. We are, we are the pledge. We are the secret still needs to be revealed. We are the commitment to feed minds so that our people learn to fish. Then we can eat. With gratitude in hand and focus in mind, this must succeed. It's been 49 years since we've been knocking on knocking this on door. This door. <laughs> and we here to knock some more. Yeah. <laughs> well, let that knocking be the shoes that do the trodden together. Let us know not to talk the talk, but walk the talk together. Knowing that we can build to build better together. Because we we are the courage that writes our own chapters, the poems that will be read long after the voices that build character, architects of our future. Responsible for the air, our sons and daughters breed the crops that will feed. Because whatever plays in this world, let it be the children. The reflection of I, you, us, we, yes, yes, we, the people of the Caribbean seas. I know me one day. people thank you miss blinker and thank you for tuning in to caribbean connect Channel.